In this video, I want to talk about Filter Registration Bin. It's a class that allows us to register and externally control the properties of a filter. It's not a filter by itself, but rather a tool that helps us manage other filters. Even though we talked about it in the previous video, where we learned about ordering, it's worth a dedicated recording because it has a powerful feature. That feature allows us to specify which URL patterns our filter should apply to. Let me show you how it works. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to type filter registration bin. It's a generic that accepts the type filter. So I'm going to pass my headers login filter and create a method with registration bin name. Then I will put a bin on top of it so the spring will be able to pick it up. Then I'm going to create our registration bin. We'll go to new registration filter, uh, filter registration bin, and I'm going to create a variable. Then I'm going to return this variable, so I'm not going to forget it. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set our filter. I'm going to manually create it here, new headers login filter. As compared to last time we did it, we let Spring instantiate it for us and passed it here as a parameter. So we can see we don't have a component annotation here, which means we manually instantiated it within the registration bin method. So the next part I'm going to do is I'm going to set order just to demonstrate thing that filter registration bin can do. We can also set a name, uh, we'll say for example, foobar. And the key part here is we can set URL patterns. URL patterns accept a collection of patterns. And for my pattern, I will type test and I will make it a wildcard. So the wildcard here only accepts one asterisk and not two, as we may used to working with uh, Spring Security, for example. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start my application and I'm going to send a re HTTP request to the root path. If I inspect my filter chain, we can see that headers login filter is not here. If I stop my application so I don't have to click through all the debugging uh, breakpoints, run it again and send a request to test endpoint, we can see that our full bar filter uh, with the type of headers login filter is here. That'll be it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.